and explain to us how you think it's a good idea. Yeah, tell, tell, go tell the community why you want this goddamn proto human with access to assault rifles out on the street after what he just did over some bullshit at what over clothes. Why, what, why don't you give him some pretty strict conditions to be fair, bro? Like a curfew or something. Nah, man, that nigga needs to attack. Caught on. Brutal attack caught on camera inside a downtown LA restaurant. A customer beat a worker because he thought his food took too long to prepare. Okay, Cal News report. <laughs> Jury's in. Bingo. Now, my thing is let's move the bar back up, right? To normal people shit, right? If you beat the chef, fine. Because you're mad that the food wasn't prepared. If you beat the waiter or any other staff member in the fucking restaurant, you're an asshole because it's not, they can't control when the food is ready. I'll give him a break as a son, man. If he went in the kitchen and beat the chef's ass, the person who controls the food. But if he beat the waiter's ass or the fucking hostess's ass, I, I'm sorry, man. Even the son, man, I can't, I can't give you, I can't give you that, man. Because it, it just doesn't make any sense, man. But he's son, man. If we move the bar back down to son, man, land, this is just normal behavior, man. At least he ain't kill nobody, right? Normal, run of the mill behavior, run of the mill. He and listen, he was probably going to run off on the bill or leave a dollar tip. Leave fifty. Brutal cent. attack caught on camera inside a downtown LA restaurant. A customer beat a worker because he thought his food took too long to prepare. Okay, Cal News reporter Gio Insignares is live in downtown LA tonight with more on this oh, brutal Ricky attack. Martin, look Gio. Well, Pat Juan, good evening. That's right. The victim said this all happened over an order at this Volcano restaurant. Now, the family told us they want this man off the streets as soon as possible in order to prevent anything like this happening again. The search continues tonight for the man in this surveillance video God seen attacking. Damn. <laughs> Proto. Proto type. <laughs> he squared up to a little, little, little. This guy, man, on Brito just doing his fucking job. He's not back there cooking it, you piece of shit, you asshole. Man, Why bro. you beat him up? Go in the go in the kitchen and beat up the chef. Man. <laughs> the There's just no reason to this shit, bro. Uh, I, I mean, think about it. I, you're at work. Work sucks already, right? You're there. You don't want to be there. You gotta deal with this shit now. You gotta deal with this uh, fucking eight. Right, you know that when Brito went home and drank a couple of uh, Modelos. <laughs> think about this though, your sir. You, I, I think about this when I go into restaurants, especially that um in my town, that like don't really service like sons because it's, it's a historically white town. They got like Italian restaurants, they got Polish restaurants, they got um German food, all these type of restaurants. Where, you know. And I go in there and I'm like, and they're so nice. I'm talking about like literally, it's the, I don't know if they're doing this because they want to seem not racist, but the service is insane. Like they're so nice, right? And I'm sitting there thinking, like, yo, do they really, really want like some people in here? Like or they or or they only being nice because they're pandering because if you if you if 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 worst gets around say say I eat the food and it's good and I go back and tell other sons man hey man you gotta go that in go that in now you dealing with a whole type of client do don't do they or would they rather just have their niche clientele with where they make their little bit of money that they make every year or their same amount of money they make every month. Or 
they have an explosion of um customers and get more get richer or make more money but it be sons the sub the new sons to the area i think the first one you said yeah, the first one sounds just better. it sounds pretty good it sounds less stressful yeah definitely yeah i hate to say you, that you sold me you sold me on the first one man i was like that's enough and, and to your point they might they might also be uh being nice to you because they think you might end up like doing right. what this nigga doing, bro. <laughs> right. Yo, yeah. my, food, my food two minutes late, nigga. Right. Oh, fuck what somewhere. you doing, nigga? Then two pieces ass. Yeah, because I mean when when I go into a white restaurant, the service is insanely good, yeah. man. I know. It's, it, it's like it's like heaven. Yeah, and, and um when I go into a black restaurant. It's not even even if the service isn't bad, which it, it it rarely is bad, but it's just nonchalant. Like for instance, you go into a black restaurant, you got to get the person behind the counter's attention. Like you you come in, that motherfucker ain't looking up. They whatever they doing, they looking down. They not looking up. Hi, how you doing? Like when you go to a white establishment, it's, hey, how you doing? How can I help you? Nice shirt, or that, that's an interesting shirt. Oh, the weather's great out there today, the huh? <laughs> you go into a black joint, you be you be standing there. The dude behind the counter, or the chick behind the counter, you standing two feet in front of him on the other side of the counter, looking at the menu. This motherfucker ain't said a goddamn word. To <laughs> Yo, the last time I went, the last time I went to a black restaurant, I, I years ago now, right? But the dude behind the counter in the, in the kitchen. And I mean, I'm sorry to say, but he looked thug life like a motherfucker. You know, he just got yeah. to join himself. Food was good, though. It was all right. It wasn't bad. I forget what it was, <laughs> even, to be honest. Yeah. I man, it, it, this shit, though, like, it's like you, you, you got to get their attention. You like, all right. You like, um, you're like, all right, I'm ready to order. They'd be like, all right, they they'll still be looking down. If whatever they doing, they still, all right, go ahead. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like it's like they don't they don't they don't act like they don't they they treat you like they don't like okay. If you come back, you come back. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, I had to taste the Haitian food again, and I went there recently. It's like, what you want? I'm like, what the fuck. <laughs> They like said you already right? still, I they swear. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? I'm I'm Haitian, so I I I expect bad service. Yeah, but maybe that's not rude, though. Maybe but the food, no, 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 it's it's normal. Like I right. said, it's normal when Jamaicans do it. It's a normal thing, so I was cool with it. But I started right. laughing. I made a face, and this, you know, sister was like, "Oh, that's the way we talk." She thought I was American. I'm like, "No, I'm Haitian." We don't have good customer service. Relax. Yeah. When I go to the white areas, it's totally different. Yeah, man. Just, yeah. That's what you got to tell them. Like, no, nah, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. You, you just ain't white. That's what it is. You, you know, I, I, I got to stop expecting glider white standards from, from some people, bro. Yeah. The food was good, though. But you know, another thing, though, on burrito service is very good. When you go into an on yep. restaurant, the service is excellent. Um, yep. But Asians are rude. They're worse than sisters to me. Asians are rude as shit. Yeah, when you go inside, that the yeah, they can be like super. Um, yeah. I was going to say to that before you said that, but it goes to my point. I mean, who's to say it's good or bad or better or worse? It just no. Is, Asians right? are rude. Asians are rude. You know, but, you know. Well, well, wait, wait, well. What I'm saying is this, though. Like Mark said, they told them what you want, but maybe that's not them being rude. Maybe that's just asking them, like, how can I help you today? You know? No, no, I agree with you. I agree with you, uh, uh, Wicked. But it's still rude, just like Asians. Why you want? Why you want? At well, at well, why you want? Right, that's rude. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Fringe customers, 
first time customers. Like black black um businesses always complain about, you know, they don't get as much business as white, but the the service is markedly worse. And if I'm a French customer, like somebody who just like stopped by, like I, I it's a conference across the street. And the only reason I'm eating here is because I'm I got a conference across the street. Or we just like happen to be down here shopping and shit. We hungry as hell. We just tucked in here just off the humble. Yeah, tourists, then, whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You treat me like a piece, you treat me like a like a, like like you don't care that I'm there. I gotta get your attention. You know what I'm saying? I gotta cough. Like somebody come out the back when they hear me cough and they come back, they're like, what's the eye? What you want? And and it's like that right there, you, you those people will never come back if they got any self-respect. The only reason I eat come back to Jamaican joints that treat me like shit is because like I love Jamaican food, man. For some reason, something about Jamaican food. That's Jamaican love that food is fucking amazing. Yeah, so it's like I they can they treat me like they treat me like you know what I'm saying shit. Like we got a joke called the grill in DC. Man, them motherfuckers, they rude ain't the word. They beefing well, with you. It's like they beefing with you. <laughs> like, why, boy? Why you want one, boy? Like, no, it's just the dismissiveness. It ain't even like what they say to you. It's what they don't say to you. It's like dismissive and um, like um, curt. And, you know what I'm saying? And of uh, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Like that, they they with you and shit. So it's like it's the tack they take with you and shit. But um the food be so goddamn good, man. Um, but I love Jamaican food. On um, but yeah, let me let me move along, man. Let's see what this sun man did, man. It's as soon as possible in order to prevent anything like this happening again. The search continues tonight for the man in this surveillance video seen attacking a Wakano employee in downtown LA Monday night. Kevin Oxlodge, who's worked Look at this, this guy, this motherfucker, man. You ain't you supposed to get in there and help your man. <laughs> like, come on, man. You supposed to grab something from the back, like bear hug his ass, man. He's scared. A hey, Monday night. Kevin Oxlodge, yes. who's worked at this location there for two go. years, there you says go. the pain from this night is still very present. My whole chest, my whole arms, my legs. That's a whole on burrito. Yeah, that's fucking a, Aztec, man. Aztec, bro. Yo, let me let me see his papers, man. Let me see your papers right now, boy. Yeah, man. Fuck. Present. My whole chest, my whole arms, my legs, my whole he speaks back well. of my neck to the point where here and here I can't really move that much. I can't turn. Oxlodge says this all started when a customer got upset over his order taking too long. The man then yelled at an employee who was pregnant. After telling the customer to calm down. Oh, Ox- shit. He yelled at a print. I I I commend this guy for stepping in because, listen, that son, if you think that son, man, wouldn't have beat that pregnant woman, <laughs> you have not <laughs> been watching this channel. <laughs> Damn, that would have been crazy. No, I'm saying it's in the realm of possibility. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. It ain't like with a glo- it ain't like with another group where it's just completely off the table. <laughs> Like it, it just like no way some white dude coming to a business and he mad because the chef taking too long and he go beat up a pregnant woman. That'll never happen. Right, I can't picture it. But a son man, yeah, I can see. Salute to this guy for stepping in and creating a diversion. <laughs> It's a it's a baby yeah. that's gonna be born because this guy's <laughs> they shouldn't shouldn't even have to be this guy. Fucking name the kid after him. Yeah, they should name the kid after my man. Facts, man. Um, everybody hit the like button, man. Take the five dollar challenge at least, man. Be a PayPal cash app with a super chat. Support the channel, man. Take the five dollar challenge, man. Um, salute the deluxe two four seven, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP, coming through once again. Guys, support the channel, man. Yo, um, yo, I, I was missing. I, I was missing that is like. A friend or a neighbor say, "Oh, he's not a bad guy. He just like shut the fuck up, will you?" 
he attacked somebody for no reason. We don't want to hear that shit right now. Yeah, he is yeah, demon. Man. I, I want to look at the bright side. This hero right here, man. This 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 brave um on Brito man that stepped in and saved that um that, <laughs> that pregnant baby. woman because he 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 was yelling at that pregnant woman and you know like he was probably getting hyped up and this guy probably sensed it he probably was like yo I gotta step in man I gotta take this out yeah you gotta take that ass whooping for that pregnant lady man you gotta step in there my really? whole chest my whole arms my legs my whole back of my neck to the point where here and here I can't really move that much I can't turn Oxlodge says this all started when a customer got upset over his order taking too long the man then yelled at an employee who was pregnant after telling the customer to calm down Oxlodge says that's when the customer attacked him aggressively punching him repeatedly at one point, you see another customer try and pull the attacker off the victim. He didn't want to let me go whatsoever. I felt like he wanted to just drag me out of the restaurant and just finish me off outside. Isabel Hernandez, Kevin's mom, also feels the stress and horror of that night. If he had taken him outside, I don't know what would have happened. She says the man returned to the restaurant multiple times that day, looking for her son and asking where he was. Hold on, wait a second. <laughs> no. Yo, you know she don't like sons. She, he was going to kill that dude. I, he probably was going to kill him. The dude didn't swing back. Think about it. He's mad his food is taking too long. That's the chef's responsibility. He yells at a pregnant woman. This guy steps in to defend the pregnant woman. He beats the shit out of this guy. This guy doesn't throw one punch back. He leaves. Like, he didn't just beat the shit out of an employee at the restaurant. Right. And comes back multiple times that day looking for him. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds made up. Like it's kind of hard to believe, you know. O only sons could do that. A white guy, you can't do that. You're getting arrested. You can't. A white guy could not punch this guy. This guy's a POC. Hey, Kyle. You got to remember if if you're white, this guy is not. This guy's just some some human being. If a black guy beats his ass. But if a white guy beats this ass, this guy, whoo, he becomes like this POC. You know what I'm saying? Yo, white dude would have been, life would have been ruined, dog. Oh, my God. Such a little bar for the brothers. Fuck. Black dude, dude, it's just like, yo, he, yo, yo the black dude. Gets to come back multiple times, look for him the same day to finish off the job. It's insane, man. What world are we living in, man? Yeah, I, I want to interview yeah. the cook. Just yeah, exactly. That's the real culprit, man. What does he got to say about it? I mean, it's <laughs> literally his fault, though. Like, I mean, yeah, what was yeah. taking so long? Or <laughs> maybe this. We didn't think about this. Maybe it didn't take long. Maybe the right. sun man was just bitching and moaning. Right, right. Yeah, one thing's for sure. If they interview the cook, they're gonna need a translator. Yeah, and 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 they definitely gonna need to fucking show his shoes, man. Because <laughs> if if he coming back looking for this guy, that if, if, if the brother's still out here, so if the brothers, man. remember the brother, the brother's still out here. Yeah. This yeah. <laughs> and mind you, I mind you, you've said this before. It's a good point. This brother doesn't have to hide his face and no. and, and shame. Think about uh, that. He's listen. There's there's no black community where everyone can know he did this, and he have to hide his face and shake. Like this could be literally, like it, this is not like oh we didn't know. No, you every he put him someplace where it's a thousand black people, and every single one of them know he right. yelled at a pregnant woman, attacked a worker. And came back several times that day to look for the worker. There's no place in the black community no. where that like, anyone, <laughs> not one person, would be like, "Yo, man, you're a bad guy, man. Don't come around." <laughs> right? Look, if that was me sitting down, did all that? 
I can't think of not anyone that wouldn't criticize me or say something or yeah. cut me off, you know? If you're a black woman, you're going to take up for them because, you know, you know, on the blackly black shit. Black men, we like, shit, that's us, man. Like, man, we, we all feel real. like we would have did the same thing. You you know what I'm yeah, it's crazy, man. Look, yo, listen, man. This is just insane behavior. If he had taken him outside, I don't know what would have happened. She says the man returned to the restaurant multiple times that day, looking for her son and asking where he was. I don't feel well, she says. My son is going to return to work, right? What if he's waiting? What if he's watching? I'm very fearful and I plead to the authorities, arrest him to feel more secure or provide a restraining order so he can't get close to my son. If this person remains free, the family says he could do the same thing to others. I honestly do want to press assault charges because what he did to me is not fair. And I hope he ends up behind bars. I hope he doesn't do it to anyone else because what he did to me shouldn't have happened, shouldn't have been done, and he shouldn't have took his anger out just for an order of food. The family says since filing the police report on Monday, they have yet to hear back from police. We're also waiting to hear back from LAPD with an update on the investigation. With 4.30 from our 8 News Now investigators.